All right, let's check this out here. Slightly longer piece, but some good weight there. And then it goes into... And then this is cool. And... All right. Now, there is also reference. So we have all of this here. It's cool. I like that. Prop making here for a big sword. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, definitely cool to see. I like it. What I would say, you have a couple notes here. The grip from 214. That is the left hand grip, you say, from here. Yeah, there's something. Visually, it's also how that elbow kind of pops out. And then it's. It just feels uncomfortable. And I think you might be able to. To wait. And I don't know if you want to drop that hand. This could almost be like maybe even out for balance. You know, gives like a big preparation so that by the time you're around here and you might even want to bring that arm higher and this might be tricky, but there's a cleaner silhouette and then you can see that arm that was out here to go underneath or over, right? So you have this arm like this that folds over into this pose. Then you can do this. And that, I think that won't be my my note for this. I think this is really cool in terms of just the complex mechanics. I like what you're doing in terms of the, the, the lift, especially this here with the turn, bringing this around. I think that's all very cool. What I would say, it looks more like someone's practicing, which is not wrong. But it's not like someone's attacking someone. Clearly was doing all of this. <laughs> that character would be dead. So just so that you're aware of that but i like i like what you have i think there's some things that you could tweak where potentially this leg either further in or you twist the body around so that the sword is further out so imagine it could even be both that you have a little bit of this and then the sword is out here so we don't have this overlapping too much but we're spending quite some time down here like that gets better because now we have a cleaner silhouette here but even then it could be interesting so have that a bit further, you know, maybe again further in and this sort further out to get a cleaner foot silhouette. Because if you do bring it over there, try to keep it like this and not flat to camera. Otherwise, it's just, just a line. I think what's happening here is that you're leaning back, which is cool, and you're using this leg to push this thing up here to sort. <laughs> but what happens now is that I'm seeing mainly a... Uh, this is almost... The beginning of it, all right, I'm now off balance enough and now I can bring this up, but then this suddenly lifts magically in terms of the weight because it's, it's with the arms towards you, it's kind of like a, a pull towards you where this doesn't quite make sense in terms of the weight distribution. Uh, to me, what would work better subjectively is if you do uh, like this, but by now, this leg is here. If that makes sense. Like you're really lifting this this leg and the knee is pushing this up like as much as you can. So that even at this point, you might still be higher. And then you got a bigger stomp. And I like this. I like what you have here. So from here. Now I know it's heavy. And I don't know if you can, if you want to consider bringing this up higher, possibly. Just because of, gain you know, of silhouette. Because it's gray on gray on gray. Um, I'd be neat to kind of clean this here in terms of the silhouette. And then watch out, we are dropping. We're staying in this high position tip up here for quite some time. Only at the end does it come down. Let me see. No, that's okay. I was wondering if it's too, too late. Or like, should it pivot because this hits this and then it rolls, but it doesn't. Okay, it's good. Let me see. Yeah, definitely higher here. And then just watch out. If you're only holding it here, and this is so heavy, and the trajectory is this. Let's put some onion skinning there, right? Roughly. <laughs> what are we doing here? Something something roughly like this here? Ooh. Oh, look at that. That totally matches, roughly. So you're doing this here. So to me, with something that heavy, and just dropping it, right? The body goes down. This feels like, it might be too picky, but it, to me, it feels like 
this should be your arc, right? This goes up and down. But now it goes up and down. You know what I mean? And this would work if it's the wrists holding it, twisting it to make it go down like that. So what you could do, just thinking out loud, not that, not that it's crazily wrong. You know, you could still argue, well, you know, they have something to do. You can potentially on this straighten out this arm so that you're like this. So this straightening of this going this way will force this to go this way to bring it down. That could be one thing. Or you keep this arc instead of doing this. And then the end is actually more like this where the head is here and then the sword ends up being here. I know this, the drawing probably makes no sense, but the point is that this continues to drop. So if it would, the tip would be here. You know what I mean? Maybe here. Now, this might make it too off balance. So if you keep that as the trajectory of the sword, but then adjust your end pose so that your end pose is more under the sword, this would stretch out this leg so that we're underneath the sword more, if that makes sense. And then you're almost already in this pose or you go from here to this, which is then a forward motion into all of that. I think that could work, but that's totally up to you. I think probably want to smooth out the path of this sword. I see some sharp returns here and there. That's not too bad. Oh, right here. Bit of a sharper dip there. Given that this is so heavy, you're not going to have a lot of changes where the tip arc is. It's going to be fairly smooth. But that's cool. I like that. And I like that she pushes this forward a little bit. I think that's cool. All I would say is it's just the body has some hiccups. It's like going, oops, stop, oops, stop, oops, stop. There's a couple of hiccups there. And then I will probably not have a slam down and then sudden acceleration here. To me, this the sudden acceleration comes from this. This is suddenly is so heavy that this is the thing that pulls you forward. So this is the speed up into a slow. And what's happening now is that you're down slow, sudden speed up. So this to me feels late. That's all cool. I do love this. Love this action. That's really great. And then you got the... You could probably into this. Find a way to push this more. I know. Really exaggerating here. But it's like this is so heavy. It's like you want to... You want to oh, really stretch this this way for that. It almost feels a bit too... We're getting there. That's promising. And now we're straight. We're pretty straight. I know she's angled this way. It's just the, that line here feels just very straight. And it'll be a neat pose to really go into this uh, this big curvature. And, you know, you might have to adjust the hips. And maybe this leg would have to be further back for all of this. But I think that would be really cool. And on something that heavy, I wonder if you can put in... Like, this is such a hard hit, you know what I mean? And this hard shock wave is going to go through there. So on that hit, you're going to have elbow shake into a shoulder rattle. Not huge, but right now what I'm seeing is a, like a very soft settle. Right? If you ignore the sword and you just look at this here, it feels very soft. It would be kind of neat to feel that. Oh, that tremor all the way back in here. Alrighty. That is that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.